what is up you guys the dead sec 101 here and i can't believe i'm flipping doing this my first flipping lp and it's mega man x now before i get into why i'm doing this let's first tell you guys how i'm doing this now as like a few of you know i don't have a pc so you may be wondering, how the hell is this guy LP in a game if he doesn't have a PC? Well, actually, what I did, I'm actually using a phone here to LP this. This is something I thought about doing it for a long time, but I never really got the chance to do it. Because, well, I didn't have a proper phone that could put it, you know, good enough storage or stuff like that. So I said, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just, when I get a new phone, let's just try and do an LP. And well, now I'm doing it. How I'm doing it is basically I'm using a, um, a screen recorder app to record the, the gameplay. And then I'm gonna go and when I'm editing the video, I decide to add the post commentary. So this is pretty crazy. I can't, it's crazy how you can flip and do LPs on your phone. Like that, that that's crazy. Like, I remember when, when, actually I don't remember when, <laughs> people used to have a hard time doing LPs on their computer because, well, I never did it. But anyways, yes, I'm actually doing Mega Man X and this, yes, this is post commentary so I'm just gonna try to react to my terrible play and don't mind me. <laughs> okay, I'm not terrible at the game, I'm decent enough. But um, yes, this is Mega Man, this is Mega Man X, everyone played it. Everyone knows what to expect. You charge up and you jump on walls and you shoot things with your, with your X Buster and all that stuff. But man, this is, man, I can't believe I'm doing this. I kind of get used to providing commentary. Like I could talk forever, yes, but reaction type videos, this is basically a reaction for me because I'm reacting to my own gameplay here. And hopefully I do better in like episode two and three and I think of more things to talk about. But, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. But, you know, it's your basic first stage. Um, I did pretty good on this stage. My episode, I did like, okay, first, is, before we talk about my performance and kind of spoil how good I did in this game or how bad I did, let's discuss one thing. Um, this is, today is, let's see, today is... May 24th, it's a Tuesday and it's actually 1.11 a.m. So, <laughs> I'm planning to upload this on May 29th, which is my birthday, by the way. Happy birthday to the Dead Sick 101, now I'm finally 112. Haha, <laughs> very funny, everyone's laughing. <laughs> but, um, wait, 101, how can I be 112? Did I age? Man, that, that joke was so bad. Just scrap it. Let's reset this entire video right now. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But anyways, today is May 24th, Tuesday, 1.11 a.m. And, um, yeah, the, I am decided to just do this on my birthday. And I'm uploading it, I'm uploading it on YouTube on my birthday, so... Yeah, we're just gonna see how everything turns out. Oh, no. Who the heck is coming out of that ship? Oh great, it's a war machine. What are we gonna do with this thing, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, so we all know when you shoot this, when you not shoot this guy, when you face this guy, you can't do damage to him, so you just gotta get yourself purposely killed. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could destroy me? Hey, why do I sound like Solid Snake? Or why do I look like a purple shovel knight? Oh my goodness, it's a it's a shot from a blonde dude! Who's this guy? Man, this is I don't know if I could do voice acting all throughout. Because I could try, but Well, it's all going on right now. X, you shouldn't expect it to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. Get out of here, you cocky blonde bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, you go scout ahead. Until Mega Man X4 would phone. Did the Mega phone just make a noise? If that if that pops up in record, I'm gonna be so bloody mad. Let me see if I can low down. Oh, I can't low down my volume. Well, that's stupid. Anyway. <laughs> chill Penguin. We go into Chill Penguin because it's Chill Penguin. Everyone goes to Chill Penguin. Who want I'm actually playing this game without the dash boots. Like that's pain right there. That is pain. Anyways, man, I don't know what to talk about. Do I talk about the gameplay? <laughs> it's like, it comes so easy to everyone else that I watch, like Tim and um, Vine Sauce, you know. It, it's so easy for them to do LPs oh, and slash streams because whatever pops up, they just talk about it, you know. Well, me, I'm like, what do I talk about? Which is weird because if you know me, you know, I talk. I could talk about anything and go on about it forever. So what do I talk about? Why I love Mega Man? Well, the reason why I love Mega Man is because that I actually, I never thought I could play this game legit. Let's be honest here. Like, these are these are one of those games that I knew was very challenging from day one. I knew this game was extremely hard, but. I, I, I always wanted to play it and finish it, so I did, but I used save states. But I never thought I'd be able to play this game. Get good at it to the point where I could beat this game without using any glitches, save states, any of that crap. Oh crap, it's Dr. Light. Now I gotta do his voice. I'm, I'm not doing his Mega Man 8 voice. Let's see. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. Man, you can't just jump in the cutscene here. But now it seems that you uh, uh, I, I skipped the dialogue. Shoot. Man, I'm doing terrible at voice acting. I'll try that again next episode or something. Anyway, so yeah, Dr. Lai is gonna give you the dash boots, which is man, it's so good. But that I, that's the main reason why I love Mega, Mega Man X, the X series, more than the original, is the movement. Like the original, the original Mega Man game, I feel like relies more on platforming for its challenge. While this game, you know, you got the dash boots, you got wall jumping, you could do all these different things. So the platforming sections of the game is really not that hard. What really messes you up is the boss fights and the um the enemies, but not really in this game. Cause this game is pretty dang easy. Like, I thought this game was so hard, I thought this was like one of the toughest games, but it's really not. Oh yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to say it in the beginning of the video. Um, if you remember in the beginning of the video, I went into the, the um, control schemes and I changed the dash to one of the trigger buttons, I think it's R. And um, that is like one of the biggest tips I give to anyone that's trying to play Mega Man. Make sure and try to change your dashing because trying to charge up your weapon and dash at the same time is ridiculous. You gotta have ma a massive swollen thumb to press all three buttons at the same time because you're gonna try to dash, you're gonna try and dash jump, all that stuff, and it's hard to do all at once. So if you could change your controls, which you can, every Mega Man game has it. Oh, well, we need that energy there. But if you could change your controls to the the one the shoulder buttons, I prefer like the R one. And then like, yeah, that'll make the game significantly more easy. All right, here, chill, here's Chill Penguins. I actually did pretty good on this fight. I, don't, I think I got hit like once or something. Did pretty good on this one. But it's Chill Penguin. Of course he do good at it. He's the easiest boss ever. Yeah, actually, I can't even hear any of the dialogue, not, not dialogue, but the music. I can't hear any of the gameplay at all because it's post commentary. Imagine trying to talk over the game's audio, that's going to be kind of hard. But, um, you know, it's fine. There we go. There's Joe Penguin. First Maverick down. Alright, I'm gonna actually talk about the boss order that I usually go with when I play this game. The boss order is usually Chill, um, Spark, Armored Armadillo, Launch Octopus, 
um, who's after lunch. I can't believe I'm forgetting this. But the order that I'm go usually the order that I go with is Chill, Storm Eagle, and Storm Eagle is he's, he's not weak to anything you have at this point, but the boss is easy, and I'm gonna demonstrate that in this video. And then I go on from there. Then I go with the flame and spark, and then armor and launch, then um oh, why am I always forgetting there? I'm always forgetting. I'm trying. I want to say Sting, but it's not. It's Boomerang Quanger, then Sting. All right. Now if you dash back to the beginning of the level, you can get a hard piece. What is this? Zelda? What? Zelda? Actually, um, the day I'm recording this, I finished Wind Waker for the first time, and that game was pretty dang good. Maybe we'll talk about more in the next video, but um. Climbing up in the, that little elevator part there is kind of annoying because there's always, sometimes there's a guy that spawns that picks you up and takes you right off the platform like a dingus. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Why? And he's like, I don't know how to avoid him. Like, he oh, oh, every time, if, he's, if he spawns there, he almost always catches me. And it sucks. All right, now if you climb up to the left here, you will find an energy tank. Now this is why I did this stage. For beginners, I believe, oh yeah, let's check this out. Oh my gosh, the graphics. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is why I do this stage. I do this stage because you get a lot of good upgrades that you don't usually get in Spark Mantle stage. And plus, you you, you have to do like only two back, two, you, you only gotta backtrack to two levels in if you go with this route, I'm pretty sure. Unless you wanna get the Hadoku and then you have to go back to you backtrack to three levels. This is like a good stage. It's an easy, easy boss. You get a heart piece, you get a, a E tank, you get all the stuff you need really that'll help you along the way. So yeah, this is a good stage. And if you shoot that if you shoot those fire look that fire, I don't know what you call that, a fire barrel, you can like get a heart piece. <laughs> Not a heart piece, uh one up. Alright, if you shoot this, you can't shoot do this now. You may think you need the flame to do it, but no, if you mash the lemon shot or just any shot, you can get through here and get the helmet, which is you will need that in the next stage. But we're not gonna do that stage in this video. I don't want to make my videos too long. Alright, we got the helmet. I wish the helmet actually did damage to the enemies. Imagine if you touch enemy with your head. Actually, no, that would be too broken. You almost always touch the enemy with your head. You destroy everything. Alright. From what I remember on my playthrough here, I remember just speed running through everything. Like, look how fast I'm going. Yeah. So if you see any slowdown, it's not because of my recording, it's because of the emulator that I'm using. The emulator that I'm using is one, I don't know if it's for PC, I highly doubt it. It's called John Ness. And for some reason, S90S X, what is S90S X9, I think is what it's called. For some reason, that one has bad lagging for some reason. Like, the input delay is extremely like it's a half a second like you notice it in games like this so I'm like I have to find an emulator that works all right what's the strategy for storm eagle it's quite simple actually just mash the attacks don't even bother charging just lemon shot all the way this guy doesn't have massive invincibility frames that goes on for like a solid three seconds or whatever you could just attack him over and over and you'll see his, his health whittle down pretty quickly that's why he's an easy boss this boss will pretty much be impossible if you don't have the dash boots so yeah he's an easy boss with and without his weakness um if i had to talk about a maverick that is very tough even with his weakness the two toughest mavericks in the game in my opinion is armored armadillo oh my goodness the screen is going black armored armadillo and um 
launch octopus. Those, those two are annoying. Launch octopus, it, he, he has so much. Like he always tossing crap at you. So even when you're trying to hit him, it's like the rolling shield disappears because it hits a missile or something. And Armored Armadillo just hits hard just so early on in the game. You don't have any big defenses at that point, especially if you're going through this that route. Anyways, we got the best weapon in the game in my opinion. Storm Tornado is so OP, and that's another reason why I wanted to do this stage. Storm Tornado's weapon is so good. Alright, for some reason, I decided to, you know, let the music play here because I was skipping it. <laughs> so I just stay on the screen for a bit, and I, um, for some reason, I just, before the song even gets good, I just say, okay, enough of that. But anyways, we're coming near the end of this episode. We have 20 seconds remaining. So, yeah. I'm uploading this on my birthday, May 29th. I should upload the next episode the very next day. But anyways, thank you for watching my video, my very first LP. I hope I can get better at this, and I hope you like it. See you guys next time.